Hello, it's Ross Silver here. Uh, thought I would speak about a company named Atosa Genetics today. It's a company that we follow and that we've written on. And a very exciting oncology company. Ticker is A-T-O-S. Trades on the NASDAQ. That's Alpha, Tom, Oscar, Sam. So Atosa is a clinical stage company developing some novel pharmaceuticals. Uh, has some no novel drug delivery methods and uh, treating breast cancer as well as other breast conditions. Uh, th what the two programs that Atosa is utilizing with its proprietary endoxifen, which is the drug that they're developing, is they have a topical endoxifen as well as an oral endoxifen. And so the topical endoxifen is for mammographic uh, breast density. It's a, it's a way to, uh, to utilize that for mammographic breast density. Uh, all the phase one objectives were met in their clinical trial. Uh, they do have a phase two study planned in Stockholm for uh, mammographic uh, breast density for their topical endoxifen. Their, endor uh, excuse me, their oral endoxifen is for refractory pa patients or people that have been not been able to use, utilize uh, drugs that are the standard of care. Um, the oral endoxifen trial uh, was, uh, the enrollment was complete uh, for their phase one trial. Uh, results are expected sometime in the middle of November, so we eagerly uh, await that. Um, the phase two is uh, planned for refractory, so we'll be looking for that as well. Um, the company also has a proprietary microcatheter technology, um, and the microcatheters for CAR T delivery is something that's come up uh, quite a bit in some of the contact that I've had with investors. Uh, the company is currently in the R&D phase with goals of reducing toxicity, improving efficacy, and potential migration of T cells along the lymphatic uh, pathway. That's what they're using for their uh, the CAR T delivery. Um, they also have these introductal microcatheters for drug delivery. So thinking of breast cancer, you could essentially deliver drug right to the breast using these introductal mi microcatheters. Uh, enrollment is underway in phase two study for the delivery of uh, full vestrant for the treatment of ductal carcinoma in situ uh, and breast cancer. And so there's a number of catalysts that are coming here for Atosa, uh, namely the, the data that I mentioned would happen here in uh, November, but uh, definitely a company I think that's worth your time, worth evaluating. The stock has moved up uh, fairly considerably since we started to follow the company. We follow the company right around 30 cents and the stock was fairly thinly traded, traded about 300,000 shares a day. It's moved up to about 50 cents and trades, you know, in the millions of shares a day. So just the name, again, I think that's worthwhile taking a look at. Again, the, the company is Atosa Genetics. The ticker is A-T-O-S and trades on the NASDAQ. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.